as you can see here this was a lucky shot that I had here not too far I think this was a uh, 17 meters as you can see here this two new kids were not really noticing me and uh, I made quick work of them meters okay this one is sitting 30 meters as well I'm gonna try for a headshot here using a new app called Strelok so yeah a little bit of wind as well not too much This guy must stick his head out a little bit more. I'm not comfortable with this shot. Okay, this is a perfect shot. Got him. Okay, while well, we wait for this guy to come out, I was speaking previously in the third shot that I took. I was speaking about the, the Straylock app that I have. It's a nice little app. Um, it shows you the ballistics and uh, the distance but mostly I'm using it for the distance um, you, well I'm using a range finder putting in the range that I have uh, into the app and then it shows me how many clicks must I give on my scope to uh, compensate for the distance because um, I saw on the internet most of the guys or some of the guys are putting uh, uh, what do you call it a piece of paper or something that they print out with the distances on their turret and then they range and they, they just turn their turret to that range but uh, yeah I'm still in the process of doing that but for now it's working very nice out for me checking the distance on my uh, range finder and then quickly going to my uh, Strelok Pro app and then putting in the distance there and then it's telling me what's the holdover or the adjustment that I need to do on my uh, scope. So yeah, pretty nice. Okay, this next clip is totally a disaster. The wind was coming from my right, and uh, yeah, I, I'm still learning for windage to hold for the wind. I took the first shot and I missed miserable. They ran a little bit, but not too far. I didn't scare them too much, and I tried to take another shot again. Busy reloading the gun here, single shot try. I am shooting with the Artemis B15. Um, yeah, take another shot. At least I got that one. And uh, yeah, I'm, so I'm gonna try another. I think it's two shots coming up here that I'm shooting. And, uh, <laughs> I completely missed them again. But yeah, practice makes perfect, eh? So <laughs> still learning on that. But it was it was quite chal challenging for me in the wind, especially with uh, pellets. I'm not shooting uh, slugs. So yeah. shot in five shots that I hit something again but uh, yo, the wind was quite heavy
this next shot the wind was coming at my back and uh, it looks like uh, I did miss but I did not I did retrieve the meerkat it was it just fell into the hole on this clip I was just waiting for the meerkat to present himself properly because uh, there was a lot of grass in the way and uh, yeah, if, uh, if I manage to shoot the grass, then uh, I won't beat my target. <laughs> but uh, I managed to whistle a little bit and he lift up his head and uh, yeah, see what happens to the little guy. Okay, so I shot one before this one, you'll see the tail there and it's up and down, up and down on the left hand side. And there's other two guys just running around and wah, I gave it to him. Then uh, reloaded, single shot tray, reloaded and I, yeah, I took a second shot. And uh, it was quite fun here, yeah? uh, quite challenging because of the wind, but uh, very nice. So as you'll see with this shot, uh, I'm still struggling to to figure out what happened here, because uh, I wasn't really uh, high higher than ten, um, and uh, I ranged everything, and uh, I think the range was uh, 40, 45, 41 meters, and uh, the out of my turrets, and as you see, I missed, and then I took a second shot and I held a little bit over and I managed to get him. <laughs> <laughs> 